It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Smile, to be my, want to be my neighbor. Welcome everyone, Dragon TV fans. It's me again, Dragon Mike, and I'm your host. And on this vlog edition of Dragon Mike TV, we're going to take a trip, a historical trip down memory lane. A beautiful home purchased by Joel Chandler Harris in 1880. He's a famous author of the books called Uncle Remus. Well, this is his freaking house, and it is freaking awesome. Check this out. Bam! Woo! This home here is called uh, Wren's Nest, home of Joel Chandler Harris, creator of Uncle Remus. So we can start making the vlogs a little bit more educational, folks. We're going to walk up here to this sign and we're going to have a small little read along. Feel welcome. Pause the uh, video if you like so you can read this. But uh says the creator of Uncle Remus Stories and exponent of the New South, Joe Chandler Harris, was born December 9th, 1848 in Eaton, Georgia. After serving an apprenticeship on a plantation newspaper, the countryman there eating and working on several Georgia dailies, he joined the staff of the Atlanta Constitution in 1876. His prolific pen has immortalized the Negro folklore home, calling it Snap Bean Farm. When a wren built her nest in, the, in his mailbox, he changed the name to Wren's Nest. Soon after his death, July 3rd, 1908, the Uncle Remus Memorial Association was organized. On January 10th, 1913, it purchased the Wren's Nest. That same year, the Uncle Remus Library was organized and remained here for 17 years. The Uncle Remus Memorial Association was rechartered August 20th, 1957. As the Joel Chandler Harris Memorial Association, the Wren's Nest is owned and operated as a memorial by the association. Pretty freaking awesome history. A novelist, a writer, here writing his books. Shoot, I'm just going to walk right up to the freaking house. You guys know how I do. We do it for the fans. We do it for Dragon TV. We're going to go inside Ray's Nest. Maybe not inside, but look through the window. So take the walk with me, shall you? Here we go. As you can see, the immaculate beauty in which this home sits. Dang. I'd like to just straight up buy this. You know. Raise my family up in here. This is beautiful. Please ring doorbell once for assistance. Yep, folks. I am at Wren's Nest. And you are joining me. Via YouTube. Man, I just love doing videos and stuff. Oh, look at here. Joe Chandler Harris House, Wren's Nest, has been designated a National Historic Landmark. This site possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America. 1978, Heritage Conservation and Recreation Service, United States Department of Interior. Cool. I am ringing the bell. Oh, it's very beautiful in there. I wonder if all the furniture and stuff is original. Okay, they do storytelling sessions in here. I think I'm gonna have to definitely come back and do a vlog session of listening to people read books. Folks, I tell you what's freaking cool here. The Wren's Nest is still inside of the mailbox. They have it nailed shut here so you can't open it. I'm pretty sure that this is the original nest. 
from like way back in the day. 1800s. That's pretty dope. That's never going to go anywhere. Let's take a walk around the side of Wren's Nest in the historic West End part of Atlanta. Knock, knock. Folks, if this looks really nice to you and you're interested in Wren's Nest and a storytelling session, feel free to come out to the site here. It is local to Midtown, Atlanta. This is beautiful. This is coming out of the Wren's Nest here. I am leaving the nest. Dragon Mike is officially leaving Wren's Nest. But I want to thank you guys for joining me as always here live. Well, not live. Pre-recorded live for me here on Dragon TV. I think this vlog is officially over. How about that, Adam the Woo? <laughs> Woo!